With Top Gun 2 coming out this year, along with the new Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, this is going to be a pretty cool year for aviation enthusiasts. Well today we're going to fly the TVM850 up to Tampa, Florida, and we're going to go by Jetline Systems and pick up my new gaming rig. Here we go. Oh, the passenger, how, how he rides. Oh, the passenger, he rides and he rides. Welcome aboard the TVM here. We'll start her up. Got a marshal out in front. We'll let him know we're going to wind up. He's letting us know it's clear. Here we go. Starter is on along with the ignition light. Both lights are on and blinking. It's a good sign. Waiting for the NG to rise up as high as it'll go. That way it'll be a cooler start. Introduce the fuel to low idle. Now I got a light off. My eyes are watching. The ITT for hung start failure or hung starts on the NG. Looks like it temped out at 727 on the ITT. It's a nice cool start. frequency and pick up IFR. We'll pull out the ground. Good morning. November 851 Tango Bravo over at Signature of Quebec looking to pick up IFR. 851 Tango Bravo pull out ground clear to the Tampa International Airport via the Miami 6 departure Winko transition. Then is file. Maintain 2000. Expect 16000. Miami departure on 119045 squad 0062. Clear up to Tampa, Miami 6, Winko transition as filed. Maintain 2000, 16000, 10 minutes after 1945 squawking. 0062, November 85, Bravo. Bravo, we're back correct. Quebec is current. Let me know when you're ready. We got Quebec and we'll be approaching spot three. We're ready to taxi with information, Quebec. Number uh, one, Tango Bravo, runway 27 right, taxi via Papa, hold short November 8. Papa, hold short November 8 to 27 right, November 85, one, Tango Bravo. All right, give him a quick flash of the taxi light here. That lets him know we are ready to go. Tell us to go forward. And to the left. I'd like to welcome everybody on board. It's a special treat to have you guys in the TBM 850 here today. One Tango Bravo, uh, Papa November 8, contact Tower, good day. Papa November 8, we'll go over to Tower, November 8, 5 Tango Bravo. We're going to be flying IFR up to Tampa International. Right now, the weather up there is below minimums uh, for the approaches, but it should lift by the time we get there to get above minimums. If you guys do like these videos, be sure to smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, ring that little bell to notify you when I upload a video. And here's November 8th. As you can see up there to the left, we're told to hold short of there. Skyline and we're monitoring tower. Of Look at the wings out there. We'll test the flight controls, make sure they're free and correct. November 851 Tango Bravo, Opelika Tower, 
fly heading at 300, runway 27 right, clear for takeoff. Roger, clear for takeoff, runway 27 right, we'll fly 300 and heading to the right, 51 take up road. So we'll continue right around the bend here and take off. All right, looking down the runway, the runway looks clear. And looking on the final approach down there, it also looks clear. So we're entering runway 27 right, we've got 7,900 feet remaining, is what four flights tell me. We'll land up on centerline here, and Tampa International, here we come. All right, we're gonna ease the power up. 2,000 on the prop RPM, we'll then advance the power even farther, up to 100% on the torque. Well, temperature pressure's all good in the green. Looking for a rotation speed, and there it is. Positive rate and indicating. So gear up. We'll tap the brakes. Stop the wheels from spinning as they go up in the wheel well. And we'll start a right turn to tree zero zero. And we'll go flaps up, yaw damper on. Remember, April 1 Tango Bravo, contact Miami departure, safe flight. Our departure, 1 Tango Bravo, enjoy your day. Miami, good morning, November 851 Tango Bravo, 800, climbing to 2000. November 851 Tango Bravo, Miami departure, ready contact, climb on Tango 11 11,000. 11 11,000, 851 Tango Bravo. All right, so we're going to put 11,000 in our altitude pre selector, we'll arm that. We're going to pitch up to get our airspeed back to about 140 knots. And then we'll put the autopilot on. We're going to get the climb right here at first. Airspeed's bleeding off. There's 140. We're going to hit IES, autopilot on. We'll also go into 850 mode, so pull the power back just under 100%. Flap lever goes up and over the gate. Now we'll also turn off our inertial separator. It's going to let more air into the uh, engine. Now we're going to get a torque increase. We can advance the torque above 100%, which will give us more power. got to be careful when you go into 850 mode is we are eliminating the governor so you could over torque the engine. And that would be bad. Right now we're right about 115% on the torque. And we'll adjust our pressurization for a cruise altitude of 16,000 feet. So we'll put it just a little bit above that. If you look down here at the iPad, you'll see there we are. A little airplane blinking as we took off with our glide advisor and our breadcrumb trail. And that is our routing today. We go transition with the Deke 5 arrival up into Tampa International. As we keep climbing, I'll keep advancing the torque until we become ITT limited. Today, being only at 16,000, we will basically be torque limited. We won't be going high enough to be oh, ITT one limited. Bravo, proceed direct Winko. Direct Winko, one tank of Bravo. So go to flight plan, cursor over Winko, direct, enter, enter, and we'll go into nav mode. Now, since the autopilot is on, the airplane is going to turn direct and navigate towards the Winko intersection. And we're currently passing through 10,000 feet. Get a little comfortable, take off the shoulder harnesses. That was our altitude alert for 1,000 to go. And we'll put the armrest down. And down here, if you see, you can hit the heading knob here. That'll square up our heading bug. I like to keep that all nice and coordinated. There we are, we're leveling out at 1, 1,000. Gonna start pushing to the left on the uh, rudder trim here to get us coordinated yes, flight. Heavy turn right in three six zero. Three six zero. APS you see right here, we got a thirty six knot direct headwind at this altitude right now, so we're pushing into the wind. So to stay ahead of this flight, we're gonna come down here to the yes, four flight app. Heavy Go to the airport tab. You see right now the weather is quarter mile RVR. And one left is greater than 6,000 overcast at 200. We're going to hope that is going to increase by what is showing forecasted. But yeah, the forecast is showing that the visibility should lift by the time we get there to get above minimums. I'm sure you guys would like to see uh, us go do, do a hold. That'd be interesting, right? November 1, Tango Bravo, contact Miami Center, 132.45. 32.45, 1 Tango Bravo, good day. Right. Morning, Miami, November 851, Tango Bravo, 1 1000, direct Winko. November 851 Tango Bravo, Miami Center, good morning. Hire for you here shortly. Fort Myers altimeter 299 or 3. Entry, thanks, one Tango Bravo. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting back in the flight sim community. Hopefully, 
with the new Microsoft Flight Sim coming out this year. They'll have a multiplayer. And I want to have a really good PC built uh, to be able to run this Flight Sim. So I chose Jetline Systems. They put together custom PCs specifically built to utilize running Flight Sim and different th all the different Flight Sims. And they go part by part, make sure everything is working 100% correctly. It's overclocked and uh, liquid cooled. I'll show you guys when we get up there. We'll go tour the facility and check out the new uh, PC they put together for me. And in the new flight sim, they're actually including the TBM and the Caravan, which are two airplanes that I've flown professionally quite a few thousands of hours throughout my career. So I'm actually looking forward to doing some flight sim videos on my channel, flying those two airplanes along with real world flying. One Tango Bravo, proceed direct Deke. Direct Deke, one Tango Bravo. All right, so Deke is on our arrival. There's Deke, direct, enter, enter. And there's not much of a course change there. So now we're going direct Deke. And we'll also enter a VNAV. We're going to put 8,000 over Deke at 1,500 feet a minute. That is our uh, the crossing restriction we'll get. Remember, one Tango Bravo, climb and maintain 1,6,000. Climb and maintain 1,6,000, one Tango Bravo. So we put 1,6,000 in, we'll VS at 3,000 feet a minute. Now we're going to be going up to our cruise altitude. So here we go. Going up to 1,6,000. We've got a good 2,500 foot a minute climb right now. It's starting to capture now. Since we were at such a high climb rate, it started capturing at 1,5,200. It started to capture for the 1,6,000. So up here at cruise altitude, we still have a 32 knot headwind, direct headwind. Roger. So we're still pushing against the winds on this flight. What we're going to do now is the airplane has built up some speed. We're going to set our cruise power. We'll power back just a little bit here. Now with the blue lever, that's our prop RPM. We're going to pull it back from 2,000 to 1,900 on the, on the prop RPM. That just lowers the ambient noise here in the cabin. A little more comfortable level, in my opinion. Now we can re-advance the torque for our cruise power. All right, so since Forflight told us we can get the ATIS, we'll go over and check it here. Tampa International Airport arrival information, Charlie. Wind 253 Zulu. Wind 340 at 7. Visibility one quarter. Mist. Ceiling 200 overcast. Temperature one three. Two point one one. Altimeter two nine or nine or eight. Remarks. A O two. Surface visibility three. Sea level pressure one five two. ILS approach runway one left in use. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Charlie. All right, we have information, Charlie. Weather is still low minimums. So we got the digital latest. What we'll also do now is come down to the iPad here in Fort Floyd, go to the airport tab. You can also see right here, scroll down. This is all our weather right now. Since the wind is coming out of the north, we're going to go to procedures. We know we're going to expect the ILS one left approach. So we'll go over here to the approaches, ILS one left. So there's our approach plate. We'll get that all briefed up and set up. So today, if the weather does raise a little bit above minimum, that'll be a fun approach. Tango Bravo, contact Miami Center, 127.2. 27 one Tango Bravo, have a good day. Thank you, too. Morning, Miami, November 8, 5, one Tango Bravo, 16,000, direct Deke. 351 one Tango Bravo, Miami Center, Miami's out 10 meter, 2 meter, 9 3. 9 3. They gave us the local altimeter setting. Right there, we've got 93 set up on all our altimeters. So yeah, today, like I was saying, uh, you know, if, if weather does lift a little bit, we get approach right down the minimums. That'll be fun. This is my job. I get paid to fly airplanes for a living. For the, those of you who are new to my channel, I've been a professional pilot for a decent amount of years now. If you guys are thinking about becoming a pilot, you think this looks fun? American Down description, I six, Twitter, linked my e friend Jason Shepard from M08.com. He runs an online ground school. Whether you want to do this professionally or just for fun and fly around on nice days when the weather's not so bad, be sure to check it out and uh, he'll help guide you along in getting your ratings. Nice view off the left wing there from 16,000 feet. And we're going to also just get the shoulder harnesses back on so we don't have to worry about that before we start thinking about everything we got to do when we come in to do this approach. How are you guys enjoying the flight so far? Pretty good? 
Good, glad to hear. You guys are enjoying it, I'm enjoying it. One Tango Bravo, it's Zeke at 8,000. Roger, cross Zeke at 8,000, 851 Tango Bravo. Alright, so right at 1,500 feet a minute down, so we'll put 8,000 in the altitude pre-selector, and we'll de-ess it, 1,500 feet a minute. And as we start down now, we'll start to pull the power back a little bit as the torque will increase as we descend. And we'll adjust our pressurization for our landing. Go down to 1,965, 1 Tango Bravo. Tampa, good morning, number 851 Tango Bravo, 13,300, saying to 8,000 over Deke. Number 851 Tango Bravo, Tampa approach, expect the uh, ILS from a one left. Roger, we'll expect the ILS one left, 851 Tango Bravo. There we are, 1,000 to go, 9,000 to saying to 8,000. Currently 1.8 miles from Deke, that was our crossing restriction, the cross that at 8,000, so we're looking good there. 351 Tango Bravo, uh, Tampa Young. Uh, I'm on, 1 Tango Bravo. 1 Tango Bravo, it's in the maintain 6,000, expect the ILS from me, 1 left. 6,000, we'll expect the ILS 1 left, 1 Tango Bravo. She must have forgot that we checked on, but 6,000 set in our LTU pre selector. So we can ask just to get a heads up to see if anybody's been able to get in yet. We'll give them a call real quick. Has anybody been able to get into Tampa this morning yet? Yeah, we've been getting into Tampa. The uh, standby only going to be support. Pleasure, thank you. This will just give us a little heads up to know what to expect. Base is last reported 300. Ah, oh, perfect, thank you. I'll take a road, thanks. All right, there we go. We got our visibility. So we'll be going almost right down to minimums. Now oh, the visibility has lifted, just as predicted. Put the prop RPM back in. One Tango Bravo, contact Tampa Final, 118.5. Have a good day. 118.5, one Tango Bravo. Have a good day. Tampa, good morning, Nova. 851 Tango Bravo, 6000 with information, Charlie. Remember 1 Tango Bravo, Tampa approach, good morning. Expect us for the ILS runway 1 left, fire present heading. Present heading, I'll expect vectors for the ILS 1 left, 851 Tango Bravo. Alright, so heading bug is squared up, we're going to heading mode. November 1 Tango Bravo, the RVR at uh, Tampa International Airport is greater than 6000. Roger, thanks for that, 1 Tango Bravo. Alright, so we got decent visibility, considering, you know, everything. So now that we're on radar vectors, we went activate the approach. We'll also go look one here. November 1, Tango Bravo, descend and maintain 2,600. And uh, notice the weather slightly improved at the airport. Instead of a uh, half a statue mile, they're showing now one statue mile. That sounds good, thanks. And we're going to maintain 2,600, 851 Tango Bravo. If you look down here at the iPad, you'll see there's our little blue airplane blinking. Going to join the approach. It's a good way to... Keep awareness of where you're at. 1,000 feet to go. 3,600 to sink to 2,600. We'll go out of 850 mode since we're not going to be utilizing the torque November over 100%. one Tango 100%. Bravo, 5 miles from Selman, lighting at 350, maintain 2,600 until Selman cleared to the ILS, runway 1 left approach. 350 on the heading, 2,600 till established up and clear for the ILS, a 1 left approach, if I want to take a breath. All right, so there we go. We're all set up. We're gonna arm the approach. In November one Tango Bravo, it's an additional 20 degrees to the left to get established because the winds are pushing you. 20 left, one Tango Bravo. Yeah, that was a little bit of a close intercept to the outer marker there. So we got a little bit of a left turn here. That'll give us a better intercept angle. So I'm glad he uh, spoke up and gave us that. So we'll get configured for this approach. We're 2.5 miles from Selm. Under the uh, flap speed here, so we'll go first notch of flaps. Selected. Look at the wing out there, you'll see is indicating. Now the airplane is turning on to the uh, localizer. So I'll put her heading bug. And November 1 Tango Bravo, I sure you're establishing your approach. What's going to be your speed on the final? We'll do uh, 110 knots for 1 Tango Bravo. Number 1 Tango Bravo, Roger. Maintain present speed until a five mile final and then contact Tampa Tower now on one one hundred point five nineteen five. Have a good day. Roger present speed till five mile final in nineteen five, eight five one ten bro. Have a good day. And gear is down and in the Tampa Tower, good morning over eight five one ten bro on the ILS one left.
November, you five one Tingle Bravo, Tampa Tower, only one left. Continue traffic's holding in position. You can expect clearance two miles final. Roger, continue in one Tingle Bravo. We're going to continue with this present speed, and we're going to now start down the glide slope with the autopilot on. And we're lined up on the localizer and the glide slope perfectly. So once we get to a five mile final, that's when we can pull it back to 110 knots. Like I said, we can go down to 211 feet. We'll hear a chime radar going around. American uh, 1118, temp tower, only one last line of buoy traffic's on a five mile final. One left line of buoy in American 1118. Another American lining up on the runway we're about to land on. There we are, we're on a five mile final now, so now we can pull it back to 110 knots. We've got the front there, you can still see we still have that solid overcast layer. The torque around 25% is what we're going to put. That'll keep us right around 110 knots is what we're looking for. We're looking good. Airplane right there is perfectly on the localizer, on the glide slope. About 115 knots on the speed. Just about to enter the overcast American layer. American 1118, wind 03 throughout nine, and we're only one left, clear for takeoff. One left, clear for takeoff, we're rolling American 1118. American 1664, contact departure, good morning. Tango Bravo, caution, make turbulence for departing Airbus 32030 at 9 or runway 1 left, clear to land. Clear to land, 1 left, 851 Tango Bravo. So it's an Airbus taking off out here in front of us, so she gave us a caution for the wake turbulence. Left to left wing, you'll see we're just about to enter into the IMC conditions. So now what I'm going to be transitioning to looking just at my instruments. So coming up right here in just a little bit here, we're going to be 500 feet to our minimum altitude. Right there, that's 500 feet to minimums. I'm just basically now doing a nice scan of my instruments. American 1118, contact departure, good morning. Good morning, Mark, good morning. Since I can't see out the windows. 500. That's 500 feet to the ground. Looking perfect. Start to see some ground contact off the left, the left window, but that doesn't really mean anything. I'd be able to see out the front. So 200 foot to minimums. 100 foot to minimums, and I'm starting to see the approach lights. If you look at the front and the runway environment, so we're good to go. So we broke out about 360 feet. So I'm going to disconnect the autopilot, and we will continue to hand fly it in. There's our decision altitude right there. That's where we would have to decide to go around or continue the land. So we're just going to continue to fly the ILS in here, pull the power back, to flight American idle. 2472, temp down, we want to the flare. Line up and wait one left, American. There we go, the center line. Pull the power back. Reverse. And we'll get off at the next intersection. There you go, welcome to Tampa, Florida, November guys. November 1, Tango Bravo, turn right at Whiskey 3 and ground point 7, good morning. Whiskey 3, ground point 7, 1, Tango Bravo. So here's Whiskey 3, get off here and go over to ground frequency. Ground, November 85, 1, Tango Bravo, clearing 1, left at Whiskey 3, need to go over to signature. November 85, 1, Tango Bravo, Tampa, ground taxi via Juliet, Lima, November, hold short of Charlie. Juliet, Lima, November, hold short, Charlie, November, 851, Tango Bravo. So here's Juliet right up here. There's all the terminals right out there in front of us. We're going to go over to the other side of the airport and go to Signature Flight Support. So yeah, welcome to Tampa, Florida, guys. That was Tampa a ground, fun Tampa flight. Tampa Get the shooting ILS almost down, the down to minimums. This guy's going to go over a bridge right here. That's all the incoming traffic into Tampa International Airport for the people driving in. That's pretty cool. United Airlines. Spirit. Southwest 284, the Southwest. Spirit Airbus off your right hand side to runway one left. Now here's okay, November. And turn off, left here. Southwest uh, 280 to one left. Three zero one, continue taxi to one left via Juliet Whiskey. Continue taxi one left via Juliet Whiskey, Spitfix 901. TBM one Tango Bravo, cross runway one right at November. And taxi via. I see November and Delta hold short of 28. Cross uh, one right at November, Delta hold short of my 28. No, right, if I want to take a breath. All right, so we're cleared to cross one right at November, which is what we're on. 
And then we're gonna turn right on a Delta and hold short of 2-8. And even though we've been cleared to cross one right, which is this next runway right here, we'll still look, clear to the left, clear to the right. Anytime I'm cleared to cross any one runway, you always double check. And right here is Delta. Now this is where we're gonna turn right, and then we're gonna hold short of runway 2-8. Sometimes taxiing around the airport is actually more difficult than flying the flight, if you're not familiar with the airport. So here's the hold short line. Give me one take Bravo cross runway 10 2 8 on Delta to exit to the ramp. Cross 2 8 on Delta into the ramp. Thanks, one take Bravo. So crossing 2 8, clear to the left, clear to the right. So this is signature flight support right over here to the left. We'll go in here and park. And now we'll go f take a car and we'll drive up to Jetline Systems and go check out this new awesome Spirit. custom PC and get ready for the new Microsoft Flight Sim. There's our marshaller. Gonna follow his hand instructions in. Alright, we'll shut this thing down. Time to go get our ride and drive up to Jetline Systems. Let's go inside, meet the crew, and see the computer they built for me. So today I'm here with Ken and Greg of Jetline Systems. Yes, and Steve, we are so excited to have you here. So let's take a look around the office and check out your new PC. Sounds good. All right, so here at Jetline, we build everything from personal computers for flight simulation all the way to FAA-approved simulators and even full motion simulators. So this is the new On Top Duo that we got from uh, Virtual Fly, and the thing is absolutely beautiful. So let's take a quick, quick peek in here before we uh, run back and check out the PC. Wow, full motion simulator, huh? Yeah, this is set up as the, uh, this is on top duo MEG. It's gonna run some twin engine, Cessnas. Really, it's a multi-function panel, so you get a lot of different flight models with it. It's really cool. And you can build these things for anybody that would want one? We build it all. Nice. Absolutely. So again, this is a virtual fly North America, and uh, we operate that van. The manufacturer's out of Spain. And you're actually, your flight controls that you order with your computer um, are by virtual fly. So let's go check out your computer. So what's really convenient is these guys can set up anything from a basic home computer setup to getting a setup where it's actually FAA approved to log time on. So now we're going to enter the room where all the magic happens. This is where they built the computer that I ordered. I'm pretty excited to check this out. Alright, so this is the build room. This is where all the magic happens. So uh, um, this is uh, the rest of the team. We got Tony. Hi guys. And we have Paul. These are our master builders. Um, Tony specifically is the mastermind behind your build. All right, Tony, let's check out this new computer. Hi guys, uh, so this is Steve's new PC that we had built for him. Uh, features an Intel processor, 9700K, as well as a RTX 2080 Super from NVIDIA. Everything's water-cooled and uh, overclocked, and it's ready for X-Plane as we have set up right now, as well as a new Microsoft FS 2020 coming out this year. Um, and we also have uh, set up uh, virtual fly controls, the Yoko Plus, the TQ3 Plus uh, throttle quadrant, as well as the Rudo Plus rudder pedals. So Greg, this computer looks amazing, but what makes it special compared to other computers to run flight simulators? Yeah, well, it is just a regular Windows 10 computer like you would see at most big stores, but this is a little bit special because the flight simulators are pretty demanding, especially on processor and graphics card. So we have some pretty high-end stuff that you don't see at you know, most of the big box stores when you walk into Walmart or Best Buy. 
this is a big cut ahead of what you see there. So this is going to have like an eight gigabyte uh, GeForce RTX 2080 Super graphics card. And uh, that's like really, really high end graphics card. And programs like X-Plane, Microsoft Flight Simulator, they're gonna need that kind of horsepower. So now that we checked out the brand new PC, what better way to test it out than to land a TBM 900 at Tampa International just like we did earlier today, but on the flight sim. Let's see how it goes. All right, so here we are. The autopilot is on. We're uh, 2.5 from the outer marker. But we're gonna intercept the glide slope. And we're currently on the localizer for one left, just like we were earlier today in the real TBM. So we're gonna see how this goes on the flight sim. This is a TBM 900. We do a 162 indicator. We're going to pull the power back a little bit. Usually at 25% on the torque in real life is what I like. And that's uh, a good speed for the approach. And we're going to now scroll down and put our first notch of flaps in. Go right down, down here. And there we go. Flaps selected. And now we're also going to look at the indicating right here. It is now also indicating. And we're one dot above, we'll go gear down. And as you look down here, gear selected, the handle will blink red. Get the gear on safe light and you'll get the three green. Very accurate. So there we go. So we're at 20, if you look at four flight, 2,600 feet and we can go right on down to 211 feet. We have the weather set up same as it was outside today, so we should break out just around 300 feet. We're looking really good on our speed with the power set to 20, it's actually at 21 right now, but 25, pretty close. So we'll see how this sim behaves just like the real airplane. The airplane is doing a real good job, it's holding the localizer and the glide slope perfectly in the sim. You can scroll around, we'll take a look. Look out the windows. See we are IMC conditions. Take a look around at the uh, starting to break out. We get a little bit of good ground contact. Look out the side, but out the side is not what counts. We need to see the runway environment out the front. So on the real flight today, we had people lining up and waiting on the runway as we were coming in around this point getting cleared for takeoff right before we were about to touch down. And we're a thousand foot to minimums. There's Tampa Bay down there. So just like in the real world flight today, we should break out just before we hit minimums. And we're coming up on 500 foot to minimums. I'm going to start to transition out the front of the aircraft with my eyes to try to start to see if we can get that runway environment in sight. 500. There's 500 feet to the ground. 200 foot to minimums. And we're coming on up. There we are. Runway in sight. We'll disconnect the autopilot. And I'll continue to hand fly it in just like it happened in real life today. So that was really pretty cool. And we have something, I believe, on the runway, which is not a good... It's a helicopter, so we're going to have to go around. We got a helicopter was not reported. And actually, they just told me virtually we can continue to land helicopter no factor. So anyway, besides the helicopter being in our way, that was pretty realistic. And there we go. We'll go in the reverse and hit the brakes. And besides that helicopter, that was a very accurate representation of what we went through this morning. All right, so there you go, guys. That was a really fun first uh, approach on the new flight sim, thanks to Jetline Systems. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, please smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. 
There'll be a lot more flight sim content coming to the channel soon, and I'd like to give uh, Ken and Greg a big thank you for inviting me to the shop here today to check it all out. Anyway, we'll talk again someday soon.